What's up Marina, this is Abhilash Thakur and welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Alright guys, so we have reached up to rule number 23, power driven vessel when underway. So we will learn about the lights power driven vessel will exhibit when she is underway. So what is underway means? We have already learned this thing in rule number 3. Underway means when she is not at anchor, when she is not at ground and when she is not make fast. Okay. Other than that, she will be considered as underway. Alright. So when the power driven vessel is underway, she will exhibit the following lights. A power driven vessel underway shall exhibit a mast headlight forward, a second mast headlight abaft off and higher than the forward one. Except that a vessel of less than 50 meter in length shall not be obliged to exhibit such lights but may do so. Side lights and stern lights. So in this rule, the A part says that the power driven vessel need to exhibit two masthead lights. One should be higher than the forward one. Masthead light which is the aft one should be higher than the forward one. Okay. And also you should exhibit the side lights and the stern light. Except a vessel who is less than 50 meters in length, she can exhibit only one masthead light. If she wants, she can exhibit two masthead light, but it's up to her. Okay, it is not mandatory for her, but a vessel who is more than 50 meters in length, she should exhibit two masthead light and the aft one should be higher and abaft. Okay, it should be aft of the forward one and it should be higher. All right, guys, so we will cover up the different different aspects of the power driven vessel. So now we are looking at the power driven vessel from the forward. Okay, so you will see the two masthead lights and uh, two side lights. Stern light will be out of the visibility arc, so you will not see it. So basically you will see these lights when you see the power driven vessel form forward. Okay. All right. Now, if you see this vessel from the port side, you will be able to see these two masthead light. You can see here clearly that uh, one masthead light will be higher than the forward one. The aft one will be higher and you will see this port side light, not the starboard one because it is out of the visibility arc. Okay. Now we will cover up to the starboard side of the vessel. Well, from the starboard side, uh, Again, you can see the both master lights and the starboard side side light. Okay, so that is all the difference. Now, when you look at the vessel from the stern, you will only able to see this stern light, which is the white color light. All other lights will be out of the visibility arc. So you will see only this one white light. And we will move on to the next part now. That is B part that says an air cushion vessel when operating in non displacement mode shall in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph a of this rule exhibit an all-round flashing yellow light all right guys so here they are saying if a air cushion vessel a uh, non-displacement vessel which is which look like this okay it is non-displacement because it is not displacing any water it has almost zero draft okay so it is just floating on the surface of the water that is known as the non-displacement it is not displacing any water so that kind of vessel should exhibit the same lights which are prescribed by the rule number 23a part that is the power driven vessel lights obviously two mast red light two side lights and a stern light this she should exhibit other than that she should also exhibit one yellow all round light which should be flashing okay so a flashing all round yellow light that is the additional light she should exhibit other than that the same light as the power driven vessel all right guys if you look at this non displacement curve from forward it will look like this from starboard side it will look like this we have yellow flashing additional from port side again we have additional yellow flashing light and from stern also you will be able to see this yellow light because it's an all round light now we will move on to the next part that is the c part which is about the wig craft lights so c part says a wig craft only when taking off landing and in flight near the surface shall addition into the lights prescribed in paragraph a of this rule exhibit a high intensity all round flashing red light all right so they have talked about the wig craft which uses the surface effect she is always floating near to the surface actually so at that point of time she should exhibit with the lights which are prescribed in the part a that is the same two mast red light two side light one star light and she should also exhibit one all round red light flashing okay the wig craft will exhibit red light the non displacement craft will exhibit yellow light so that is a difference okay and wig craft looks like this okay she is always using the surface effect to move 
now these days you will not see this wig craft there are very very fewer of them mostly you will see this non displacement craft when you are doing this hong kong channel or a china channel normally you will you will see these uh, boats which are non displacement because they are very very fast and they will cross your bow when you are in the channel that what i have observed when i was passing the hong kong channel and they are very very fast their speed is around 35 40 knots sometimes so you will see this non displacement i have never seen this wig craft in my life only i have seen this the videos of the wig craft you can check out on youtube and google wherever you want so without wasting our time we will jump on to the d part d part has three parts so we will start with the first part the first part says a power driven vessel of less than 12 meters in length may in lieu of lights prescribed in paragraph a of this rule exhibit an all round white light and side light okay so here they have talked about the vessel whose length is less than 12 meters in length and she is a power driven vessel instead of the lights which are prescribed in the part a that is two mast head light two side light and a stern light she can exhibit a all round white light and side light so basically she can skip the two mast head lights and the side light she can put only one all round white light so we can see it from anywhere and she, it's not flashing it is a continuous light and also the side lights port and starboard okay so she can exhibit these lights instead of the lights which are prescribed in a part she can exhibit if she wants as a vessel length is very small so to accommodate these kind of light it's very very difficult so they have given this option to them which are less than 12 meters in length they can put all round white light and side lights okay so now we will jump to the next part the next part says a power driven vessel of less than 7 meters in length whose maximum speed does not exceed 7 knots may in lieu of the light prescribed in paragraph a of this rule exhibit an all round white light and shall if practicable also exhibit side lights all right now they have specified more into this part they have said if a vessel is less than 7 meters now so the first part which we have covered that is less than 12 meters so from 7 meters to 12 meters they have this option they can put this all round white light and side light and if the vessel is less than 7 meters and their speed is not maximum than 7 knots it means they are very small vessel so they can exhibit only one white light okay they can skip this side lights if they want they can put if it is practical practicable for them but they can put only one all round white light that is it for them so they can skip everything like mast head lights side lights and stern light they can put only one all round white light so basically when you out at sea you will see these small boats will have this all round white light and if it is practicable for them they will exhibit this side lights also if it is practicable for them it is an option for them but for the vessel who are less than 12 meters and between 7 to 12 meters which we have covered in first part they have to exhibit the side lights that is a difference okay all right guys so we will jump out to the next part that is the third part of the d part it says the mast head light or all round white light on a power driven vessel of less than 12 meters in length may be displaced from the forward aft center line of the vessel if center line fitting is not practicable provided that the side lights are combined in one lantern which shall be carried out on the fore and aft center line of the vessel or located as near as practicable in the same fore and aft center line as the mast head light or the all round white light All right guys so in this part they are saying if the vessel which is less than 12 meters in length as their length is very small they are a small vessel so maybe it is impracticable for them to put the mast head light on the fore and aft center line because of the shape of the vessel because it's very small so as we have covered in rule number 21 the mast head light should be on the fore and aft center line but here they can displace this mast head light or you can say the all round white light if they have all round white light they can put this light off the center line it's not required for them to put it on just on the center line for our center line they can put it displace this lights port or starboard provided that the side lights port and starboard light should be combined in one lantern okay so the side lights will be converted into one lantern only one light will have this both of them port and starboard light and it should be in the center line okay also if it is impracticable for them to put this one lantern on the for our center line it should be in line with the light which is all round white light it means if the vessel who's less than 12 meters in length will put this all round white light not on the center line but you know on the little bit on the starboard side let's say so the side light should be in one lantern at the fore and aft center line let's say now she cannot do this for some reason she has to move this side lights in line with this white all round white light okay she has to do this if she cannot do the side lights on the fore and aft center line so she has to match this all round white light in a line 
okay she has to do that either this or this if you like this video guys please press the like button please press it now because this like button is very very important for me it gives me a boost up and also it gives boost to the video and you can subscribe my channel subscribe my channel press the notification bell so you don't miss out the notifications which the video is coming up next also share this video to your friends and you have any questions regarding merchant navy or any questions regarding ror you can put down in the comment section below i will see you in the next video this is ablash tagore signing off